The Ipswich manager George Burley had won many plaudits for his team's performances, despite having to rely on one of the smallest squads in the Premiership. One of their heroes was striker Marcus Stewart. He was the club's leading scorer with 11 goals so far. Stewart grabbed the equaliser that had seen the Tractor Boys draw 2-2 with Chelsea last time out. There was one change to that side. Former Spur Jamie Clapham was replaced by winger Martin Reusser in a very attack-minded side. This is Venus, very experienced player. Holland goes on to the return ball. Danger here for Tottenham. Oh, well, it was a scrambled effort in the end. But they all count, and Marcus Stewart racks up his 12th goal of the season when it really looked as though Ipswich were going to make a mess of a gifted opportunity. Tottenham's defence flat-footed. Matt Holland with a beautifully clipped cross. It was a miss-hit. It was definitely a miss-hit by Stewart. He'll be honest enough to say that at later, I'm sure. But he won't care, because with eight minutes gone, that goal gives Ipswich Town the lead. Oh, lovely move again. Bruce did well. Holland's cross, brilliant! What a finish! Armstrong, the man to round off another splendid Ipswich move, and now they have got their two-goal cushion. 16 minutes gone in the second half. Ipswich increased their lead, and deservedly so. And almost inevitably, the goal came as a result of some slick interpassing, and equally inevitably, the final delivery came from that left-hand side where they've wreaked so much damage. Stewart, who got the first goal, turned provider this time, and it was an easy tap home. He did brilliantly there, Scowcroft. Still got it. And it's onside. Everyone hesitating from Tottenham. They could pay for that. David Johnson's there. He's missed it. Oh, now, does he claim the goal? And indeed, was he in an offside position? Two interesting questions. The only answer that matters is that the goal stands. Jamie Clapham claims it. Johnson was right on the line and almost seemed to apply a touch, in which case he might have been offside. And indeed... That could have been offside when the ball was first played down the right-hand side to Martin Rusa. Let's have another look here. Well, you've got to wonder whether that goal should have been allowed to stand. You really have. I think it had crossed the line in actual fact when uh, David Johnson applied his touch. Just, but only just. Clapham, who got the third goal. And that third goal was enough to clinch a thoroughly deserved victory for Ipswich Town. The final score, Ipswich Town 3, Tottenham Hotspur 0. Ipswich moved up to fourth on the back of that victory. The season was a tremendous success for the club, who eventually finished in fifth place, guaranteeing a UEFA Cup spot. Suffolk hadn't had it so good since the early 80s. Tottenham finished a disappointing 12th on 49 points. The club's real failing was their dreadful away form. They managed just two league wins on the road and lost 13 times. Not good enough, and George Graham paid for that.